Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the stick. I have a stick, and it's in my hand. We're playing Madden 20, the Dynamite Saga continues. It is the Dynamites, Dolphamites, the Dynadolphs. A harrowing tale. It is. Of a young quarterback. Let me ask you a question. What? What's happened in the last... Eight games we've played. Uh, we've won every single game. But what happened in them? What do you mean what happened in them? You want me to remember the each play? Yep. From, I wouldn't be able to do that if I did pay attention. <laughs> what, see, is exactly what I'm going what for. You don't pay attention. <laughs> see, you put yourself into a corner. How did I put myself you into said, a corner? Even if I did pay attention, I wouldn't know what happened. So meaning <laughs> that you don't pay attention. I knew it. I never <laughs> Secrets out. I never. Folks, I, he doesn't like football. I don't. And I stopped, I stopped watching after our first uh, the season of the Desperados. Because it literally, to, to me, it is literally the same game every well, I mean, single yeah, you don't, time. Well, also, you don't like football, so yeah. I get it. I mean, I do. I've paid attention to the ones that get close because when they get super close, it's like, oh, I don't know. I get all intense with it, too, because I'm all like, ah. Yeah, but honestly, it's, just, it's football. I get it. <laughs> the, rules ain't, the rules ain't changing too much. No, they're not. Yeah, it's the same, same sort of thing. So, uh, There's no DLC pack that's going to change the game. DLC pack. Dude. Exactly. Oh, sticky fingers. <laughs> You're not going to unleash a new boss. You're not going to get a weapon drop or anything. <laughs> You're not going to get a legendary football. Exactly. I feel you. How do you feel about boats? You ever been on a boat before? Uh, do you remember the Good Time 3, man? Is that in Asheville? That was in Cleveland. It was one of those boats that would just take you out on Lake Erie. No, oh, but that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I meant that very non-sarcastically. It came across a lot different than I meant it, it but... It's funny because whenever I think about that little uh, Cleveland Riverboat called The Good Time, it was The Good Time 1, 2, and 3. I was old enough to remember the 3. My mom remembers the 1. It always makes me think of, like, the school trip that I took with a bunch of classmates. And uh, we got on... I don't think it was The Good Time. I think it was, like, the... The bootleg good nine. We went to like Putin Bay. Oh, have you ever been to Putin Bay? No, I have not. You know of Putin. I know what it is. Yeah. Okay. But we went to Putin Bay and uh. That's where bros go to get drunk. Yeah, and the onboard talent was live music, and it was like a guy who was playing the piano. He was doing two live crew covers. He knew two songs. One of them was not very good, but the one that resonated with me and all my other like 12, 13 year old friends was uh. Under the boardwalk, we'll be falling in love. Under the boardwalk, Wait, he was playing, that, that's not a short trip. So he's playing the same two songs. Right? Yes. Why would you? And then he would take a break, and then he would come back and do the same two songs. Why would they hire a man who play two songs? Because it was the bootleg good time. <laughs> They call it the mediocre so, time, dude. So after me and my friends had heard the song twice at this point in time, we were like, I bet you we start singing on the boardwalk. And of course, he did. Uh, did. You guys go up there and sing with him? And then we ended up tipping him. We was like, no, let's keep doing under the boardwalk because we didn't like the other song. Did you guys sing with him? Though, Absolutely. We knew the song by heart by that point. Yeah, dude. This is not going to repeat for an hour and a half. We heard the song four freaking times, dude. And, wow. then, and then when we left Putin Bay, he wasn't there. There's a whole Putin Bay story that I vaguely remember, but uh, once we left Putin Bay, he was not on the boat again. Did we he were, get arrested? No, we were disappointed. I guess he probably went home, dude. He only knew two songs. Well, dude, if he only knows two songs. How are you going to get home? Do I have silence? That's sad. Dude, I will never. That song still has like a special place in my heart. But yeah. It's like that song Jimmy Hart sang in that one video. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, they turn me on. Look for that one. <clears throat> yeah, that's a good one. But uh, yeah. Under the boat. So that's like the only boat you've ever been on. It turned into the Nautical Queen. That's what they call it now. That makes sense. I think so, right? It's right by. It's right down the flax. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think it's the Nautical Queen. Now you can do like a. You can do like a dinner in a movie or dinner in a boat ride. Yeah, on a lake area. Dude, if the mercury fish would jump out with their tentacles and pull you in. It's funny because in New York. Wow. Okay. 
so about tentacle mon. You think tentacle monsters live in LA? I mean, there is mercury. It has caught on fire before. Hey, okay, look, Jonas. You bring it up. Why are you bringing up old ish, huh? Why are you bringing up old ish? Why are you bringing up old ish to try to shame our city? If you weren't from there, I'd be offended. It's like in New York, though. Uh, they treat the Hudson the same way. Like, I mean, it's, it's, it's something making money, dude. Like, to think that there's people that literally swim in Lake Erie. Yeah. It I happens. I've before and got ear aches every time. Ear and got ear aches, poot infections. Every time, dude. Like, every time when I was a kid, I swam and I think I got ear infection. Mm -hmm. I have not swam in it in a long time. I would not blame you. We were in it together one time. Remember, I cut my leg on the brake wall. Yeah, I do remember yeah, that. Everywhere. I'm surprised I didn't get gang. <laughs> I remember it took that. a long time to heal, though. There was some mercury in the blood. I just remember seeing the sewage pipe with, like, the brown, green, like, light pink, reddish hue to it that was, like, leaking into it. And then we're looking maybe, like, a hundred feet away from that, and we're like, yeah, let's just swim out to the break wall. Yeah. I'm like, but there's literally, like, sludge coming out of this. Like, we could come out as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Not dude. Uh, we are looking out for you to become a turtle, dude. <laughs> no, probably just cancer. But, uh, oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Like, it'd be great if superpowers worked that way. Jonas, superpower. Yeah. Which one? If I could only have one. Yes. Have you? I feel like we've done it before, but we're doing it again. Oh. Let me break it. Let me. Uh, look, will you tell me which one you would want? Because I'll give you my reasoning between well, them. You, 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 you thought I was ready? I was <laughs> trying to get you to improv it out. Oh, okay. oh, then I'll go, dude. It's great. I can help. Dude, I'm improv. No, okay. No, no. Um, fine, fine. So I'll give you my real one. I'll give you my real one. Uh, I would want the power of. Can I? Can I? Can I take two? <laughs> yeah, see? That's where I'm at, dude. Like, can I take two? Uh, okay, if you, were, uh, if you could do two, what two would you do? I would do immortality. Oh, that's a super peer. I didn't even. That's a super peer. Wow, I just, I, it got me flustered. I couldn't even. Yeah, Jones, I'm always outside of the box. Why uh, am I not this natural when we're in improv class? Like, uh, you realize we could just sit there and talk just like this. It's probably if we work together, we'd probably be like this. It's just that we work with other people. I'm not comfortable. With. Oh, I don't know, dude. I love working with anybody yeah, except for. No, but it's just like I don't know. Yeah, it, anyways. Yeah. Um. So I, I would say immortality, and then I want uh, absolutely. Absolutely ridiculous superhuman strength. Just because it's canonical. See, okay, you're going with like practicality. I'm going with like being able to do cool stuff and durability. Too. Like I was like, okay, I like telekinesis because I'd like to be able to move stuff with my mind. Like mm. if I'm just like, man, I really don't want to get up. Fung, open up the fridge, pull the, pull All right. the soda out. So take that one. Okay. Boom. Also, being invisible would be cool because you you could go anywhere you want and Yo, no one knows you're there. Jonas, invisible telekinetic right. is great. And then also, nah, you have done. What else I you got? My, you said three. Did I? Mind reading. Whoa, Jonas, you are the most insidious creature. Right, right. Wow. So like, you put That's those all together. Three. I can read minds. You can't see me, and I can move stuff without being there. Wow. Yeah. That, yeah. I could do some awesome stuff with that. Yeah, yeah. And if I could fly, why, too. Why not yeah. just take mind control, though, instead of being able to read them? You can just make yeah, them think whatever you want. But I like, okay, I'm naturally curious, and I like to listen to people talk. If I could listen to them talk without even having to ask them a question. Oh, and then you could have the fun of socially engineering because you already know what they're thinking. Right, if they're just like, oh, my God, I don't know if my pilot's Man, you should go hit on that girl because I know she's already thinking that about how nasty he is. And when he goes up there, he looks like a tool. Oh, and you're the ultimate wingman. <laughs> you're the ultimate wingman. I could be like Jonas. Is she is she feeling me or no? He'd be like, uh, she says that uh, she thinks your penis is small. Uh, I, don't know. I know that it really is. <laughs> and I'm like, no, <laughs> don't tell her it's for right, cause, Well, yeah, because like when you start thinking about what I just said, then I can read your thoughts and know if it's true or not. I can like make, I can match make that way. I, I would usually become a matchmaker, and I would be. Yeah, uh huh. You no, know, I would, dude. If I had those three powers, I would just become a god. Well, yeah. But I would I would take mind control over mind reading because yeah, I don't care what people are thinking. Yeah. I just want to make. 
make them do would, That would be you great. Would, you would basically be like the entire world's slave master in that Oh, Jonas. And no one would know what you look like or where you were, and you'd be able to move stuff without having to get up. God, Jonas, you just gave me a boner. <laughs> How's that feel, Jonas? That you just like, essentially, you could even, like, uh, pee in the air and hold it so it wouldn't get anywhere, and then, then move it to the toilet and put it in the toilet. So you could even, like, get, like, pee from where you were and make your pee go in the toilet. Yeah. Because you could just, like, hold it. Yeah. Like when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. Holy crap, Jonas. Yeah, dude, telekinesis is awesome. All right, that's a pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm, I'm like the more like iconic of like yeah, the you were Superman. Like, I, be, I can do anything and be all invincible, <laughs> and I can I know live forever. I'm like that's actually very admirable. Like I want that. But then I was like, but I want the evil. Yeah, because you're you you'd be easier to kill because you're still just a human. Right, but you, I'd always be invisible. So how yeah, would I ever see you? you would become dangerous. Yeah. They would have to find you. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, you would wreak havoc for years. I would be, like, sitting on top of the truck or something. <laughs> like, people would, like, somewhere, like, on top of the water tower. Just, like, <laughs> no one have any idea what was going on with me. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. I do, like, stuff for a long time that no one even knew it was happening. They just think there was, like, ghosts or something. <laughs> I would just do, like, weird stuff, like, moving people's cars around and stuff. Oh. Like, they'd be like, the city's been... <laughs> They're just dri so driverless <laughs> cars that aren't on. <laughs> the city's been in turmoil. <laughs> the entire country, or the entire world, would be insane because they would be not believing the reality anymore. Yeah. And then I would just become uninvisible and be like, "You do as I say, or I'll make the cars so move." We like, hey, here. <laughs> I'll make your car. <laughs> I'll make it really far for you to find your car. You're gonna have to pull out your fob and just go around the city looking for your car. But I got telekinesis. I can like put them up on top of a tree, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta get a, a record to come get that minute. thing. I'm just Wait like the mildly nuisance man. I just make like I like take Wait their shopping minute. cart and I turn around to the other aisle and then I go get it and then I take things out of it. <laughs> so you're not robbing banks at all, basically. Oh, I'm sure it would get to that point. I'd get bored doing petty stuff. Yeah, okay. I'm invisible, so I can go where I want. Yeah, it's true, man. You I've got so many flags because I'm not paying attention. Go i got to play the game, too. <laughs> I mean, I give it... <laughs> and this is, I'm, like, very into the conversation. See, now with, with immortality and superhuman strength, dude, and durability, I would, I would probably just, like, be a superhero or something. Okay. I, I wasn't really thinking about... Like, going, like a good guy? Like a good guy? <laughs> yeah, dude, I have to fight you. <laughs> dude, I'd, I'd be invisible. I know, but I'd have to like battle you, dude. Uh, we'd have It'd be like, <laughs> yeah, you're evil, dude. <laughs> I mean, I have no other advantage. You're just, you just can't die, and you're really strong. But you can <laughs> see me. I can make things move around you and I can control your mind or think what you're thinking. Yeah, I know, dude. That's why been, we're total opposite but like evenly matched because I can't die and you can't hurt me really. But I could pick you up and move you. You could. And, and if I, you're like, oh, he must be on top of the water tower, I would just move somewhere else. Yeah, and I would jump up there with my superhuman strength and you'd be like, nope, I'm over here. doesn't mean you can jump to the middle. Uh, and you don't get strong legs? <laughs> Your legs are strong. I got strong legs. I can't jump for us. How do you think Michael Jordan jumped? Do you think he never did leg day? Is that, I'm just asking. He's got really skinny calves, I heard. I'm just asking. For me, he probably did leg day. <laughs> so if I did superhuman leg day, I'm afraid that I'm going to be able to jump high. All right, I feel you. It's your, it's your power. You do what you want. I want to be an anime character, all right? Jonas, right, God dang it. That's all. Goku? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, dude. Except he died a bunch. Wait, how did he die? Yeah, he, he, right he resurrected. Uh, yeah, he got resurrected by the dragon. You're immortal, so you can, you can have Goku without Goku. Mmm, Brawly. You can charge up for like 10 episodes, and then you can do something. No. Oh, Fumble. Did we get it back? We got it back. Yeah, we got it back. Um, no, Jonas, I don't want to charge up necessarily. I think that's kind of dumb. And in fact, I'm thinking, I'm kind of start, starting to think the immortality for just like instant regeneration. And I think I could just live forever with that. Yeah. Because all like, all that old age is, is like the generation of yourselves. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So I could just like stay young forever. Oh, you'd be like that song. Forever young. I want to be forever young. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Preston Williams. 
<laughs> Jonas, if you were to end the human race, how would you do that? Yeah. Let's uh, see how you would do, do I that. Want do I, well, it's like, do you want everyone to suffer? Do you want people to suffer? Uh, that's up to you. I don't want pain and suffering, dude. That's that's oh, so you just want to take them out quick, huh? Yeah, they're gonna have this across yeah, midfield. Rabid, that's gonna be painful. Dude. <laughs> You're talking about infection here. Oh, yeah, dude. Really infection is right sucks. I would let everybody on the planet die in their sleep. Aww, <laughs> <laughs> that's so sweet of you to say. <laughs> 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 As, as, I, as I turn up the world's CO2 and turn down the oxygen. Oh, that's what you do? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't matter if they were sleeping or not. They would all just pass out. Give the world carbon monoxide poisoning. All right, that was dark. I'm sorry. You know, Jonas, it gets dark when we when we get to the points of, like, uh, between superheroes and yeah, taking over the world. Back the boat. Have you ever rode a speedboat? No, Jonas. Have you been on a boat, man? Yeah, dude. What boat did you ride? San Diego that went like 70 miles an hour. And it did like hairpin turns. Oh, I've never it done that. It was actually really fun. Like a speedboat? It was like, yeah, it was like an uber fast. Um, a really fast boat. I can't remember what they called it. And it had like 30 people on it. Uh -huh. and, uh, and like it was like, it would just go at full speed. And it would get up to like 7 miles an hour. And then they would just like hard break and do like a 180. And it would just like, the boat would just like spin. And it was, it was really awesome. It was like so much fun. Like going that fast in a boat, you're just like, <laughs> yeah. It's just like the wind's blowing in your face so fast. Yeah, it's yeah, it was pretty cool. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I mean, actually, <laughs> Dude, those things are dangerous. Other than that, I haven't really been on a boat. No, I'm not a big boat guy. I want to go on a cruise. Though. I actually want to go on a singles cruise. I don't understand that. Um, I mean, I get it, but I don't. Get well, yeah, I don't want. I don't want poop boat to happen to me. Well, just poop boat. There was one of those carnival cruises that got stranded at sea and like they couldn't flush oh. the least, and it was just like poop boat. Everyone... And then people started getting sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, that but. The reason I want to go on one is because they're, they're semi-inexpensive for what they are. Um, I have a passport so I can get off at the port cities. I want to go on a singles cruise because the whole thing is that the, the people that are on the cruise are single. And, uh, Got it. yeah, and we also, there's a port city two and a half hours from here. So we, we don't have to pay for the flight to get to the port. I don't know. The idea of a singles cruise just seems so antiquated of a way to meet people to me. That sounds like I mean, something it's like my like people looking to bang on a boat, dude. It's like let's get on the boat and everyone's single, let's hook up for a week and then we'll go. And you get to go to like Jamaica and Cancun and Cozumel and stuff like that. Really? It just, it seems what do you think they do on a singles cruise, dude? I don't know, man. I didn't realize that certain facets of people's interests range so far until people are effing. Yeah, yeah, but like, I didn't realize. And there's no kids. Yeah, well, I, get, well, I, I would imagine. You know, it's all single adults. <laughs> all kids are single. At least they better be. Well, no, but like they, like those kind of cruises, it's all just adults and it's all single. You don't I mean, worry about families and all that crap. Yeah, I get it. Um, it's just like it sounds like something out of a sitcom. Oh, like it's the singles cruise episode, and then nobody ever gets effed. <laughs> Uh, yeah, oh, I'm sure I wouldn't get out, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh. Well, I don't know. Maybe and, now. And now I kind of picture, like, what's the kind of woman I'm going to draw in by getting on a cruise where everybody just, where implications are, we're going to F. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's always sunny type implications. Well, we're in international waters. Yeah, there were some implications. Well, what do you mean? Like, you know, the implications. We're, we're on a boat. <laughs> I have a penis. You know, like, I don't need, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I want that. Be, that I great. want to go on a cruise because I want to go to like Jamaica and stuff. I would not mind going to Jamaica. It's not really a place I would care to go to, but I would not mind. Well, that's going why there. it's cool for like a cruise because like you just dock there for a day and you can like run around the port city and stuff and be right near the beach, boy. Uh, do any of them go to Japan? I would like to go to Japan. Take a cruise to Japan. 
Maybe you left from uh, California. Ooh. Because you could cut across the Pacific. Oh, yeah. Japan's far away no matter what, huh? Yeah, you would have to, you'd, so you would have to fly to a port city on the West Coast. But I'm sure they probably do. Japan is an island. They probably have it. How far is Japan from Cali? I don't know. I don't know the world in that direction. <laughs> I don't think it's close enough to just fly. I think it's still like you got to cross a freaking ocean. Yeah, well, I mean, you got to cross the ocean, dude. Absolutely. <laughs> you absolutely have to cross no, the ocean. No, you fly to California, you get on the on the cruise ship there, and then take the boat. Oh, yeah, the cruise the, ship. There's different port cities. Why did I think we were talking about, like, a, the good house back on the good time three? I don't know. I was, dude. I was thinking, like, when you say cruise, it's so effed up that when you say cruise, because I've never been on, like, an actual cruise, I think of, like, a small ferry that basically yeah, no, just drives like it. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I said, I used to live right next to the Disney cruises. In, oh, yes, yeah, uh, you saw what they're huge. And they're man. huge, man. Yeah, they're like, there's, like, 15 rows of rooms like all the way up the side yeah but they have like they have like running tracks and swimming pools and all yeah. sorts of, like well the thing that's cool about is you can get like all-inclusive alcohol passes so you can like drink for free yeah. it's expensive but if you think about if i if i'm gonna have at least like you know eight eight drinks two or three days while i'm there it's gonna pay for itself because the drinks you got think are gonna be ten dollars a piece mm. so if you you can't i mean a lot of people could get drunk every day but even if you got drunk say three days on a seven day cruise if you drank like say eight nine drinks it's, it's worth the money yeah and they definitely and all the food's inclusive and they have like professional restaurants and stuff plus i can get a drink for a young lady right yep you ain't gonna flatter when you get her a free drink yo it's all by my dollar though she probably has it too she likes to drink no see she needs to loosen up her morals i'm all jonas see i'm already unimpressed by the whole idea and implications well, you know what I've, I've just getting a bunch of horn dogs on a boat jonas is not my idea of a fun time well i mean there's not much else to do bro what do you mean what do people do on normal cruises you sick f <laughs> Dude, there's just kids nobody, to leave through. Nobody's ever, nobody, it's not like every cruise is just a freaking flop Dude, house. Everywhere you go anywhere, people are trying to hook up. Yeah, but not like on the boat in front of everybody. I'm not, not saying it's going to be a swinger party. I'm <laughs> not saying that either, but I'm just saying it's like when people go on a cruise, they go on a cruise to enjoy the cruise. You're turning into, I want to go on a cruise. single people together. When you do that, there's coitus. It happens. The loins are frothy, bro. You're making it sound way more sinister than it actually is, is what I think. What is wrong with this game? I don't know. It's very bright in the stadium for a minute. Now it's a completely different day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying that like a single cruise would be fun because the people on the boat are single. Yeah, Instead yes, dealing man. dealing with like old people and couples and kids. Except for the perverted implications of me putting my phallus into their wet holes. Wow, dude, you took it there. Yeah. So that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please mm. make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video about coitus. Ah, I got more jalapeno in that. If you've already done that please share the videos uh because oh my god my eye uh for jonas and tnt dynamite we'll see you on the next one we are <coughs> 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 <coughs>